considering the huge bailout intervention funds expended by government in the various sectors of the economy over the years to boost domestic production capacity. This Senate also accordingly resolved to call for an urgent audit into the effective release, utilization, and the performance of the various intervention funds to the various sectors of the economy by the relevant government agencies. This Senate also resolved to urge the federal government to take steps to boost entrepreneurial developments and employment capabilities of our economy. The Senate also resolved to all the federal government to integrate entrepreneurial savings and investment culture and education into the educational curriculum at all appropriate uh, levels. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, like I said earlier in my opening remarks, there cannot be a better time for this Senate to take a committed position in this matter than now. With the screening of the ministerial nominees and the focus of the present administration as regards employment matters, this Senate must also take note that over 200 billion have been expended under the small and medium scale guarantee scheme. 200 million billion for the restructuring and the financing facility scheme, 300 billion for the power and air intervention funds, 35 billion for grooming enterprise leaders and business intervention funds, 32 billion for entertainment intervention funds, 10.7 billion on commercial agri-growth scheme, 300 billion on hotel and leisure subsectors, 200 billion on indigenous pharmaceutical companies, 100 billion on textile industries bailout. 12.1 billion between 2010 and 2015 as export <coughs> expansion grants. Mr. President, these many colleagues, I believe very strongly that this Senate owes this country a duty to take steps that will alleviate in the shortest possible time the sufferings of all Nigerians. On the basis of this submission, Mr. President and colleagues, I so move that this Senate consider and approve the recommendations of this motion for the interest of all Nigerians.